Sports are very entertaining. All the fast-paced action keeps you constantly engaged. Passes, points, assists. But what is the best way to keep updated on your favorite sport? Radio. What is it like to keep the public entertained while dictating a sport? I'll find out. My name is Aaron Dansby, and I'm a journalist trying to answer the world's most pressing questions. From doctors to authors, I reach out to professionals to get their insight for your queries. This is Ask Aaron. Greg Beckwith is the sports radio announcer for the University of Richmond college basketball team. He's an alumni of the program and is very passionate about everything basketball. He's been announcing the games for several years now and was the perfect person to talk to. So, Greg, you've worked in radio. You're an announcer for the Richmond Spiders. I try to do that, yes. Mm -hmm. People have said that I have a face for radio. What does, what does that mean to you as somebody in radio? I've been called the same thing, my man. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I look good on the radio, they said. Mm -hmm. Sound good on TV, but sound better and look better on the radio. Mm -hmm. Do you have any catchphrases? And they say I have terrible dad jokes. Terrible. Could you give me a couple of your, your most famous dad jokes? So the Spiders were playing against Charlotte, and they had a senior night at uh, Charlotte. The game went into overtime because one of the Charlotte players, as a senior, did not take a shot with five seconds left in the game to try to win the game. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, yours truly said, he had a senior moment. I get a text from my family like, that was terrible. I think it, I think it was funny. I appreciate that because mm -hmm. you have to understand what dad jokes mean mm -hmm. and what they're all about. Mm -hmm. Like guy named Kendall Anthony mm -hmm. and when they came out with the Kendall fire mm -hmm. he got on he got on a roll shooting a lot of jump shots and I said Kendall is on fire Kendall fire mm -hmm. and I was waiting for the text and of course the text came from my wife and kids mm -hmm. you're really joking right that wasn't good mm -hmm. I thought it was absolutely perfect mm -hmm. you played in Richmond yeah in the mid 80s um, 82 through 86. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good were you? 1 being not able to dunk and 10 being able to dunk. Well, 1. Mm -hmm. Now, I did dunk in practice. And I'm not going to tell you if they lowered the, the rim or not, but I did dunk. So that's that should be a 5, I think, at least. At least a 5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you, as you get older, you kind of get better. I can dunk. It was when I needed to dunk, mm -hmm. let's put it that way. Do mm -hmm. you think you're better now than you were in college? Absolutely, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm much better. Mentally, physically, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I can dunk now. Would you lower the rim now? Much lower, mm -hmm. it'd be at five, and I could put on a performance. It would be unbelievable. Do you think that you play better with specific attire on? Well, it's all about the, the gear. I definitely play much better when I look, when I feel good mm -hmm. about what I'm wearing. I may miss a, a bunch of shots, but I look good doing it. It yeah. goes a long way. Especially if you're on TV. Oh, no doubt on mm -hmm. TV. You know, you gotta have the nice hairdo. Mm -hmm. um, and when you sweat, you gotta sweat a certain way. Sweat a certain way? Sweat. Matter of fact, you don't sweat. You know, you perspire. Only horses sweat. Okay. You're a human being, you, you perspire in a manner that you wipe your forehead or wipe, wipe mm -hmm. the right way. I've done a lot of interviews now that I'm in Virginia where I've almost sweat or perspired during the interview. Do you think you could help me out on perspiring in the right way? Well, little tip is mm -hmm. you may want to get a little makeup and dab it on you mm -hmm. so you don't look like you're perspiring on camera. And number two, I need a little handkerchief and just keep dabbing mm -hmm. during your time off camera to make sure you're not glistening. You're worried about looking like Edward from Twilight on camera. <laughs> Yes, I mm -hmm. am. Don't want to look like Edward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't been called that yet or referred to that. So hopefully I'll never will be. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, you have to have the right hairdo. Did you ever change up your hairdo? No, I kept it. I kept it tight. I don't want to call myself out too much with my hairdo. Mm -hmm. um, and now, especially with it, you know, a little speckle of salt in there. I've always wanted to try the uh, touch of gray in my hair. 
I think I would look good with a, like you said, a speckle of salt or pepper. You look distinguished. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to look like, distinguished mm -hmm. and mature. Mm -hmm. that, that's what the speckle gray does for you. That's mm -hmm. what I think. Mm -hmm. So I try to tell, uh, convey that on, on the television as well. Mm -hmm. I think you do a, a good job on the radio for, of displaying your speckle of gray. Well, you know, I've been told by the the play-by-play -play guy, who's my partner, mm -hmm. that I sound mature now. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you do look good, mm -hmm. even though people can't see you. Right, right. I agree. Well, thank you for this interview. It was very, very fun. It was really nice to meet someone of your stature. Someone who's played here is also now a famous radio host for the games. Thank you. Thank you. When you say stature, that, that's, that's an insult, but I won't take it like that because I'm 5'10 and everyone always used to get on my stature. Mm -hmm. So I meant as in someone of, of your fame. Oh, thank you. I mm -hmm. appreciate that. I'm, I'm very humbled to, mm -hmm. to have you say that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Greg certainly has a lot of talent when it comes to radio. Keeping the public entertained is what he does best. He certainly kept me entertained with his dad jokes. Next time I hear a good one, I'll be sure to reach out. I hope you learned a thing or two. As always, I'm Aaron, and this has been Ask Aaron. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you do not send to 10 friends, your luck will change for the worse. You will never have enough milk for a bowl of cereal. You will constantly feel like you need to sneeze, but cannot, and it will always take at least 10 minutes to find the TV remote. Thank you. Your head is not a fault for any change of luck. I'm not watching this video. Aaron Dansby is not responsible for any change in milk quantities, nor is he going to have a pre-sneeze, nor hiding a TV remote. Please enjoy this video and share with friends. Thank you.